back to about five years ago. Maybe you were still using an old phone. Maybe your internet dropped every time it started to rain. The sky above you looked calm and empty at night. You might have seen a few moving dots if you stared for a long time. That calm sky hid a quiet truth. There were not many working machines up in space at all. Here is the first big secret. Before May of 2019, the entire planet had fewer than 2,000 working satellites. The exact number was about 1,957. Working means the machine is talking to people on Earth. It is sending pictures or signals. That is it. Fewer than 2,000 machines were serving the whole world. This number comes from a group called the Union of Concerned Scientists. They track these machines very carefully. They are not just guessing. Now here is the second big secret. Those working machines were only part of the story. The total number of things floating in space was closer to 5,000. Many of those were dead machines. Some were old rocket parts. Some were just bolts or pieces of scrap metal. Think of it like a giant junkyard in the sky. There was a lot of stuff up there, but less than half of it was actually doing anything useful. To make that feel real, imagine a parking lot with 5,000 cars in it. Only 2,000 of those cars can actually start. The rest are broken down and rusting. That was what space looked like before the company called SpaceX started its Starlink project. Most people did not know this. They thought space was already crowded. It was not crowded at all. It was mostly empty. It was also very expensive and slow to change. Let me explain what a satellite actually is in simple words. A satellite is just a machine that falls around the Earth. It is always falling toward the ground. It just happens to be moving sideways so fast that it always misses the ground. Think about throwing a rock. If you throw it hard, it goes far before it hits the grass. If you could throw that rock at 17,000 miles per hour, it would go so far that the earth would curve away beneath it. The rock would keep falling, but it would never land. That is what being in orbit means. Most old satellites were very high up. They stayed in one spot over the earth. This made them slow for the internet. The signal had to travel a very long way up and a very long way back down. It was like trying to talk to someone through a very long tube. It took a long time for the sound to get there. Starlink changed that by putting their machines much closer to the ground. They put them in the low part of space. This makes the internet much faster. But it also means you need a lot more machines to cover the whole Earth. Since 2019, SpaceX has been launching rockets almost every week. They have put more than 6,000 machines in the sky already. This is a huge change. In just five years, one company has tripled the number of working machines in space. They are doing this faster than anyone thought was possible. They launch about 250 new machines every single month. That is like putting eight new machines into the sky every single day. This is how they are winning the race. They are not just building better machines. They are building them faster and moving them into space cheaper than anyone else. To understand how they do this, you have to look at the rocket. SpaceX uses a rocket called the Falcon 9. This rocket is special because it can land itself. Most rockets are like single-use plates. You use them once and then you throw them away. That is very expensive. A Falcon 9 is like a real plate that you wash and use again. Because they can reuse the rocket, it costs them much less to get to space. They own the rocket and they own the satellites. This is what experts call owning the whole stack. It means they do not have to pay anyone else to move their stuff. They just do it themselves. Think about a company that delivers packages. Most companies have to pay a trucking company to move their boxes. SpaceX built their own trucks and their own boxes. This makes them very hard to beat. Other companies are trying to catch up. A company called OneWeb is in second place. They have about 600 machines in the sky. That is a good number, but it is much smaller than 6,000. Another company owned by Amazon is called Kuiper. They want to do the same thing, but they have not started sending many machines up yet. They are still warming up their engines. Then there is China. China is building their own group of satellites very quietly. They do not want to rely on an American company for their internet. They are planning to put thousands of machines in the sky 
Sky 2, but they are starting late. Right now, Starlink is the king of the mountain. They have more machines than everyone else combined. This is a scoreboard that is very easy to read. One team has 6,000 points and the other teams are still in the hundreds. This matters because the first person to fill the sky gets the most customers. They get the most money to build even better machines. It is a cycle that keeps them ahead. If you launch fast, you learn fast. If you learn fast, you make fewer mistakes. SpaceX has learned how to build these machines like cars on a factory line. Most old satellites were built one at a time by hand. They were like expensive pieces of jewelry. Starlink satellites are built like smartphones. They make dozens of them every week. Each one is a flat panel. They are thin and rectangular. They look a bit like a large piece of plywood. When they go into the rocket, they are stacked on top of each other. They fit together like a deck of playing cards. This is a very smart way to save space. It allows one rocket to carry 60 machines at once. When the rocket gets to space, it lets the whole stack go. The machines then spread out slowly. They look like a train of bright lights in the night sky. Many people have seen this and wondered what it was. It is just a new batch of internet machines moving into their spots. These machines also talk to each other using lasers. Imagine two people standing on different hills at night. If they use flashlights to send signals to each other, that is like what these machines do. They send beams of light through the empty space between them. This is much faster than sending signals through glass wires on the ground. Light moves faster through space than it does through glass. This means the internet can travel across the ocean faster than a regular cable can carry it. This is a big deal for people who need to move information very quickly. It is also a big deal for people who live in the middle of nowhere. Before this, if you lived on a farm or on a boat, you could not get good internet. Now you just put a small dish on your roof, the dish looks at the sky and finds the satellites. It is like having a very long invisible wire that connects you to the whole world. This has changed life for millions of people. It has also changed how wars are fought. In the war in Ukraine, these satellites kept the internet working when the ground wires were blown up. It allowed people to talk to their families and allowed soldiers to see what was happening on the battlefield. This showed the world that space is now the most important place for information, but having so many things in the sky also creates problems. Remember the junkyard I talked about? Adding 6,000 more machines makes the sky much busier. Astronomers who study the stars are worried. They use big telescopes to take pictures of the universe. When a bright satellite flies in front of their telescope, it leaves a big white streak on the picture. It is like someone walking in front of a movie projector. It ruins the shot. SpaceX is trying to fix this by making their machines darker. They even put little sunshades on them to stop the sun from reflecting off the metal. This helps, but it does not solve the whole problem. There is also the risk of crashes. If two machines hit each other at 17,000 miles per hour, they shatter into thousands of pieces. Each piece becomes a new piece of junk. If there is too much junk, it might become too dangerous to launch anything at all. This is something everyone is watching very closely. To stop this, the new machines are designed to fall out of the sky on purpose when they are done. They have small engines that push them down into the air. When they hit the air, they burn up completely. They turn into dust. This keeps the sky clean for the next group of machines. This is part of being a responsible user of space. Let's talk about the money for a moment. Building a big rocket system is very expensive. For example, NASA has a huge rocket called the SLS. One single flight of that rocket costs about $4 billion. That is $4 billion with a B. To to give you an idea of how much money that is, it is enough to buy a brand new car for every single person living in a medium-sized city. It is a huge amount of taxpayer money. SpaceX can launch their rockets for a tiny fraction of that cost. Because they save so much money on the rocket, they can afford to build thousands of satellites. This is why the old companies are struggling. They are still using the old expensive way of doing things. They are like a store that 
sells handmade shoes for $1,000. SpaceX is like a factory that makes great shoes for $50. Most people are going to buy the cheaper shoes. This is a huge shift in how the space business works. The old companies used to get big checks from the government no matter what. Now they have to compete with a company that moves faster and spends less. This is hard for them. It is also hard for the people who make the rules. The government has to figure out how to manage all these new machines. They have to make sure the signals do not get mixed up. This is called spectrum sharing. Think of it like a radio. If two stations use the same number, you just hear noise. The government makes sure every company has its own number to use, but with thousands of machines, that is getting harder to do. They also have to worry about who is in control. If one company owns most of the machines in the sky, they have a lot of power. They can decide who gets internet and who does not. This makes some people nervous. They want to make sure there is plenty of competition. That is why the race between SpaceX, Amazon, and China is so important. We want many different companies to choose from. Competition usually makes things better and cheaper for everyone. Right now, SpaceX is leading because they made a big bet. They bet that they could build a reusable rocket. Many people thought it was impossible. They thought the rocket would blow up or break every time it tried to land. But the engineers at SpaceX kept trying. They failed many times at first. You might have seen videos of their rockets falling over or exploding on the landing pad. But they did not quit. They learned something from every explosion. This is a very different way of working than the old companies. The old companies are afraid of failing because it looks bad. They spend years and years checking every bolt to make sure nothing goes wrong. This makes them very slow. SpaceX moves fast and breaks things. They fix the problems as they go. This is how they were able to build a whole satellite network in just five years. The people who work there use a method called Scrum. This is just a fancy way of saying they work in small teams that talk to each other every day. They set small goals and finish them quickly. If something is not working, they change it immediately. They do not wait for a big meeting with a hundred bosses. This allows them to make changes to the satellites every single month. The machines they are launching today are much better than the ones they launched in 2019. They have better cameras, better lasers, and better radios. This is another reason why the gap between them and their rivals is growing. If you launch once a year, you only get to improve your machine once a year. If you launch every week, you get to improve your machine 50 times a year. This is the secret to their success. It is not just about having a smart leader. It is about a system that is built to move fast and learn. As we look to the future, the sky will only get busier. Some experts think there will be 50,000 satellites in orbit by the end of the next 10 years. That would be 25 times more than we had five years ago. It will be like a busy highway in the sky. To keep everything safe, we will need better ways to track every single object. We will need better rules for who has to move out of the way if two things are going to hit. It is like building the first roads for cars. At first, there were no stop signs or traffic lights because there were not many cars. Now that there are millions of cars, we need lots of rules to stay safe. Space is going through that same change right now. We are moving from a quiet frontier to a busy workplace. This will change everything from how we watch TV to how we predict the weather. It will also help us get to Mars. The money SpaceX makes from Starlink is being used to build an even bigger rocket called Starship. This rocket will be the biggest ever made. It will be as tall as a 40-story building. It is designed to carry a hundred people at a time. This is only possible because the internet satellites are providing the cash to pay for it. It is a big circle of growth. The satellites pay for the rockets, and the rockets carry the satellites. This is why this moment in history is so important. We are watching the birth of a new era. It is an era where space is not just for a few lucky astronauts. It is for everyone. It is for the student in a small village who wants to learn. It is for the doctor who needs to talk to an expert in another country. It is for the farmer who wants to know exactly when it will rain. All of this is happening because a few thousand small machines 
are circling the world right now. They are quiet and mostly invisible, but they are changing the world one signal at a time. The competition will continue. Amazon will eventually get their machines into the sky. China will build their own network. This race is good for us. It means better technology and lower prices. It means we will never be disconnected again. The next time you look up at the night sky, remember what is happening up there. It is not just empty space anymore. It is a hive of activity. It is a scoreboard where the numbers are going up every single week. It is a place where new ideas are being tested and old ways are being left behind. The sky is full of Starlink machines tonight, and they are just the beginning of what is coming next. We are living through a time when the heavens are becoming a part of our daily lives. This is a story about how fast things can change when you have the right tools and the will to use them. It is a story about how the empty junkyard in the sky became the most important highway in the world. It is also a story about how humans are learning to manage a whole new world above their heads. There will be challenges. There will be mistakes. There will be more explosions and more lessons to learn. But the progress will not stop. The race to own the sky is on, and the winner will shape the future for the next hundred years. Right now, the lead is huge, but the track is long. We will have to wait and see if anyone can catch up to the company that learned how to land their own rockets. For now, the scoreboard tells the story. 6,000 machines and counting. The sky is no longer the limit. It is the new frontier for everyone. And it all started with a simple idea. Let's put the internet in the sky so everyone can join the conversation. That idea is now a reality that you can see from your own backyard if you look closely enough at the right time. The train of lights is moving and it is moving fast. It is carrying the future of information with it. Every month, more flat panels go up. Every year, the network gets stronger. This is the new age of space, and it is happening right over our heads every single night. If you think about where we were just five years ago, it is hard to believe how far we have come. We went from a few old machines to a massive net of high-tech computers. We went from slow, expensive connections to fast, cheap access for millions. This did not happen by accident. It happened because people decided to take a risk and try something new. They decided that space was not just for looking at, it was for using. And that decision has changed the world forever. The sky is busy, the race is fast, and the future is looking very bright indeed. As the years go by, we will likely forget how quiet the sky used to be. We will take for granted that we can get online from anywhere on the planet. We will forget the time when the internet dropped because of a little rain. That is how you know a technology technology has truly won. It becomes invisible because it is everywhere. That is what Starlink is doing. It is becoming a part of the world that we just expect to be there, like the roads we drive on or the water in our pipes. It is a massive engineering feat that most people will never see, but they will feel the impact of it every time they pick up their phone or turn on their computer. The story of space has moved from the history books to the daily news. It is no longer about one giant leap. It is about thousands of small steps taken every single day. Each launch is a step. Each new satellite is a step. And all those steps are leading us somewhere new. We are building a bridge to the stars and we are starting by building a net around our own home. It is an exciting time to be alive and watching the sky. Sky. The machines are up there, doing their job, and they are not stopping anytime soon. The race is just getting started, and the view from the ground is better than ever. We are watching the future arrive, one rocket launch at a time. And the best part is, we all get to be a part of it.